next, blast off with the sci-fi street smart. We will boldly go where no comedy game show has gone before. Who spaced out? Show me the hand gesture Mr. Spock would make when he said, live long and prosper. And who's out of this world? In the film E.T., Elliot and E.T. escape the police on a flying what? Bicycle. E.T. phone home. It's a special salute to sci-fi. Street smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Nicotaron, loyal protector of the Street Smarts Galaxy, Quadrant 3, Sector 9, and today we salute Sci-Fi. All right. Now, as your interstellar MC, my mission is to travel through deep space in search of enterprising humanoids who will answer my questions. Then I beam back to the mothership where I present their answers to two members of the Federation who must predict who knew the Prime Directive and whose brain was made of antimatter. And here are our cosmic yeah. contestants. Hello, Devin! Look how cute! And Eric! Now listen, the boards who run the show only have the budget for one cash prize, so put it in warp nine and win. Now let's meet our three street supernovas. First, Sharon revealed the naked truth about her odd humanoid tendencies. So Sharon, where are you from? I'm from a little town called Greenville, Indiana. Greenville, Indiana, what's the best thing to do in Greenville, Indiana? Leave it. What do you do in Indiana? I'm a dealer for a casino. I work for Caesars. Oh, very cool. And what's the biggest tip you've ever gotten? Uh, $8,000. So Sharon, you're a, you're a nudist. Yes, I am. Been one for the last 13 years. And you'll just you'll go to like nudist camps and just walk around naked. Oh yeah, it's more fun than you can ever imagine. Okay, everyone in America right now is picturing both of us naked. Let's just stand there and give them a shot. <laughs> oh yeah. And Mimi showed me a primitive form of adornment used by 21st century Earth females. Mimi, where are you from? I'm originally from Brooklyn. Okay. Brooklyn! What? What's your favorite science fiction movie? Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh, who's your favorite character? The Wookiee. Do you believe in UFOs? I think there's higher beings out there. Not, um, I think we're not quite capable of comprehending what they are yet. Because we're not as smart as them? Nah. Well, you might not be, but I'm special. <laughs> Finally, Sean may have to join the Starfleet since he can't go back to work at the mall. So, Sean, where are you from? I'm from Vegas. You're from Vegas, and yes. what do you do? I work at down there at the store. What store Retail. is it? Retail. Should I say? Yeah. Should I? Okay. Will I get fired? If I get fired, can I have a job? Banana Republic. Oh, you're screwed, dude. I can't believe you said that. Do you believe in aliens? Actually, yeah. You do? We live in Vegas. You got to. Well, you're Area on the 51. desert out there, so they, you know. Area 51. Come on, dude. It's like... Over there. I thought that was in New Mexico. Oh, that's where I was going to Mexico. That's, that's right, Area 51's right up here. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's oh, how cute. Okay. All right, grab your lightsaber. It's time to find out who's the Jedi Master. That's right. I also have the same question. You must guess who got it right. You will have a choice and a correct guess. Get you 100 bucks. We're ready to go. Here we go. All right. First question I asked to Sharon, Mimi, and Sean. Stanley Kubrick's classic film about a space odyssey was set in what year? So who do you guys think's the Jedi Master up there? Is it Sharon, Mimi, or Sean? Do the answer to that one? All right, you're both locked in. Let's hear you. Both think Sean. Devin, you think he knows? I think he knows. He seems a little kind of out right. there. Okay, and Eric, you agree with this? He's a little geeky. He looks like a Kubrick fan. <laughs> All right, let's see if he's a Jedi Master. Stanley Kubrick's classic film about a space odyssey was set in what year? 1984. Like Orson Welles. Like Orson Welles? Yeah, the book. George Orwell, 1984. Yeah. It's not Orson Welles. Oh. Ah, that's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, you both had Sean. That's not a correct answer. Now, I like to let the audience play along. Earthlings, who do you think knew it? Sharon or Mimi? Sharon! Stanley Kubrick's classic film about a space odyssey was set in what year? 2001. Very good. Hey, I'm, I'm, I told you I'm old, but I'm good. That was the right, and, you know, just for fun, let's see what Mimi said on this one. Mimi, Stanley Kubrick's classic film about a space odyssey took place in what year? 1922. Two. 22 or three? Two. All right, I want to make sure you get that wrong. All right, thank you, Mimi. Okay, guys, here's the next question. Dick, the head alien on Third Rock from the Sun, works as what on Earth? So what do you think, guys? Who's the Jedi Master on that one? Do you think it's Sharon, Mimi, or Sean? Knows about Dick on Third Rock from the Sun and what he does. All right, so lock in when you guys can. Try to get you guys 100 bucks here. 
All right, you're both <coughs> locked in, and let's see here. This time, uh, you're going with Sean again, huh, Eric? Think he's gonna come through this time? Yeah, again, he's a geek. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a geek All right, guy. let's see if it works. Dick, the head alien on Third Rock from the Sun, works as what on Earth? Coffee maker? Yeah. Coffee maker? Coffee shop. No, that's the wrong answer, Eric. I'm sorry, he's 0 for 2 on that. I think he's getting back at you because you called him a geek. <laughs> All right, now, De Devin, you think Shannon's the one, huh? I do. Um, she knew the last one, she so knew, Okay, you're going. Yeah. And let's picture her naked one more time. No, no, thank you. Dick, the head alien on Third Rock from the Sun, works as what on Earth? He is a professor at a college. You watch that show? Yes, I do. That's the right answer. Way to go, Devin. You have 100 Earth dollars. Way to go. You take the lead. All right, here's the last question of the round. Eric, we'll try to get you some money on this one. Okay. Name H.G. Wells's famous book about a machine that travels far into the future. So who's the Jedi Master? Is it Sharon, Mimi, or Sean? I'm trying to get you guys 100 bucks on this one. And, okay, uh, Devin, you're going with Sharon again. You think she knows? Sure am. Um, she's, she's my girl. She's, she's your girl. Let's see if we can get another 100 great. bucks. Name H.G. Wells' famous book about a machine that travels far into the future. I want to say Time Traveler. Oh. Hey, Devin, I'm sorry. That's the wrong answer. Now, Eric, once again, you're going with Sean. He's my hero. He's I guess. your hero. All right. Let's do we tie up the game. Name H.G. Wells' famous book about a machine that travels far into the future. 1941. Time machine. Oh. That's oh. a wrong answer, too, Eric. I'm sorry, Sean Burns is there. Now, <laughs> Mimi's the one who had the right answer. Let's watch. Name H.G. Wells' famous book about a machine that travels far into the future. Mm, the time machine? There you go. It's just remade into a classic uh, movie. It's just remade. All right, let's uh, recap the scores here, Eric. You have no money right now, all right? But don't worry. But Devin's got 100 bucks, so that's good. In just two minutes, we will boldly go where no comedy game show has gone before. Hope, in the name of the computer club, don't move. Universe, it's just street smart salute to sci fi. So let's meet our brave bounty hunters here. We have uh, the lovely Devin here from Lake Orion, Orion, Michigan. She's a student. Now tell me about this one time you were riding your bike. Yes, I was riding my bike down my street pretty fast, and I was checking out this guy playing um, basketball, right. and I was not paying attention to where I was going, and ran into a parked car. Oh my god. He came running down to see if I was okay, and we ended up dating four years. <laughs> All right, we got Eric here. Eric is uh, from Val Valparaiso, Indiana. He's a B filmmaker, perfect for our science fiction show. Now, you got to work with one of your childhood idols once, right? Yeah, when I moved to LA, I got to work for uh, Clive Barker for four months. Oh, cool. A week later. <laughs> A week later, he painted me from head to toe in black grease paint for a, a book that he was working on. Uh, okay, there, there was some sort of photo shoot going on? Or was yeah, it was a photo shoot. Okay, good. You're a real hellraiser, Eric. All right, let's recap the scores. Eric, you don't have any money right now, but don't worry. Devin's got 100 bucks. Good for her. Yay! Time to find out who got stuck in a wormhole in our second round. Who's lost in space? I have to say the question only two at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. We're looking for the wrong answers. Greg Kessler and you $200 this round. Now, plus we have our intergalactic uh, dunce cap right there. You can only use it once this round. Now, when you think your opponent doesn't know the answer to a question, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get that 200 bucks. But if they're right, they get the 200 bucks. That's right. Like Lando Calrissian, the cap can turn on you. So consider yourself warned, young Jedis. All right, here's the first question. I asked both Mimi and Sean. Show me the hand gesture Mr. Spock would make when he said, live long and prosper. So who's lost in space, guys? What do you think? Who did not know it, Mimi or Sean? What do you think? Lock in, I'll give you 200 bucks if you find the wrong one. All right, and you're both locked in pretty quick on Sean there. All right, Devin, you think he doesn't know this one? I don't think he knows it. Okay, and I think this is the fourth he's, time he's in a row. He's wrong. All right, let's take a look, Eric. <laughs> Show me the hand gesture Mr. Spock would make when he said, live long and prosper. That's a wrong answer, way to go, you both got 200 bucks. That is an incorrect answer. Mimi had the right answer, watch this. Show me the hand gesture Mr. Spock would make when he said, live long and prosper. The censored version or the one that's allowed on TV? Either one you want, whatever you think is right. That rock. That's the right answer. Okay, here's the next question I asked to Sharon and Sean. I asked both Earthlings. <laughs> Bugs Bunny saved the world from the space modulator of a Martian named what? 
So who blew it? Who's lost in space? What do you think, guys? Who did not know that one? Is it Sharon or Sean? All right, and lock in there, Eric, as soon as you can. Okay, both locked in. Eric, you're going back. This is like the fifth time in a row you've gone with Sean. You think he blew this one too, huh? Well, he's blown everyone so far. Okay, all right, let's take a look. Bugs Bunny saved the world from the space modulator of a Martian named what? Elroy. Remember Marvin the Martian? Oh, you make me so angry. Oh, yes, Marvin. Marvin. Okay. We're doing dueling Marvin. Yeah, it's Marvin. Bim, 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 That's a wrong answer. Way to go. You guys each get $200. You did not know the answer. Sharon had it. Here's the correct one. Bugs Bunny saved the world from the space modulator of a Martian named what? Martian. It was named Marvin. Oh my god, very good. Can you do the voice of Marvin? No. Oh, you make me so mad. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that was the voice. Oh, I said it. I was, no, 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 that was the voice. I'm not mad at you, I love you. I'm a gun. All right, Sharon, okay. Here's the last question around. You guys are doing well. You're up to 500 bucks. Devin, Eric, you got 400 bucks. I asked uh, Sharon and Mimi, I asked both ladies, victims are wrapped up in cotton candy in the campy movie Killer Blank from Outer Space. What do you think? Who blew it? Okay, and you're both locked in. I can't believe no one used the dunce cap on that one. Yeah, uh, you guys are, okay. All right, you're both locked in. You think Mimi blew it. Devin, she won't know this one? I don't think so. Definitely not. No. <laughs> well, you're hoping she doesn't. I'm hoping she doesn't. All right, doesn't. let's take a look. Victims are wrapped up in cotton candy in the campy movie Killer Blank from Outer Space. Killer clowns, baby! Killer clowns! Mimi, how do you know that movie? My old sister, older sister Tasha, beat the crap out of me every Saturday to watch these scary movies. That's a right answer. I'm sorry, you both had Mimi thought she'd blow it. It looks like uh, Sharon was the one who blew it, so I can't give you guys any money on that one. I can't believe she knew Killer Clowns. All right, let's pick out the scores. Eric, you got 400 bucks. Devin, 500 bucks. Good round. Don't go to the dark side. Just hang out for two minutes. We'll readjust our new old jetpacks. Help us, viewer. You're our only hope. Operations Control Center. It's the day the street stood still. Our salute to sci-fi. Damn it, Jim. I think it's time to... <laughs> pick your planet. Each of you guys will choose the first for the entire round and try to guess and they'll answer three questions. The correct prediction is worth $300 this time, you guys. The dust cap is back. You guys didn't use it in round two, so remember it's there. You can only use it once and it's worth 300 bucks also. Now, recap of the scores here. Let's see. Eric, you got 400 bucks, but Devin's got 500 bucks. Now the player trailing goes first, Eric, that's you. So who would you like to mind meld with? So who are you going with? I'm gonna go with Sean. You're going with Sean? Oh, you love Sean, all right. And Devin, how about you? I'm going with Sharon. <laughs> okay, here's our first question, Eric, for you to Sean. I asked him. The new UPN show Enterprise is the latest spin-off of what sci-fi series? Now, Eric, uh, what do you think? Think Sean got that right or wrong? Try to mind meld with him here. Oh, We've been using him the whole show. Got that one wrong. You're going back with the wrong one. Well, let's take a look. The new UPN show Enterprise is the latest spin-off of what sci-fi series? Star Trek. It is very good. What do you know about Star Trek? You big? Are you a Trekkie? Do I look like it? Yes. So do you. <laughs> I'm sorry, he got that right, Eric. He knew Star Trek. I can't give you 300 bucks on that. All right, Devin, you can increase your lead. First question to Sharon. In the film E.T., Elliot and E.T. escape the police on a flying what? What do you think, Devin? You think uh, Sharon got it right or wrong? I think she got it right. I hope she did. All right, Come let's on. find out, Devin. In the film E.T., Elliot and E.T. escape the police on a flying what? Bicycle. It is a flying bike right now. Now, give me, give me your best E.T. impression, you know, like when he says phone home or whatever. E.T., phone home. My finger doesn't light up, though. <laughs> Way to go. She got it right, Devin. She knew E.T. 20th anniversary of the movie E.T. Just saw it in the theater not too long ago. All right, here's your next question. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, <laughs> first, here's your next question, Sean. Finish the title of this superhero team, Mighty Blank Power Rangers. What do you think, Eric? I think Sean got it right or wrong? Uh, I got that one right. He got this one. All right, Eric, let's see if we can get you straight about it. Finish the title of this superhero team, Mighty Blank Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> Yeah. Do you like them, the Power Rangers, I'm guessing? Pink one's hot. There you go, Eric. You got it right. Nice job. Turn it back to you. Takes you up to $700.
Did we really need to see him dance, though? I don't think so. All right. Here's your next question, Devin. I asked Sharon, a dark outer space area where gravity sucks up everything nearby is called a what? So, oh, you've been touched by Eric. All right, Devin, I'm going to read the question one more time. You have five seconds to answer the question. A dark outer space area where gravity sucks up everything nearby is called a what? Two um, seconds. I don't know. Uh, looks like Eric gets a 300 bucks. Nice job. Eric takes up a thousand bucks. All right. Now, Devin, do you think Sharon got it right or wrong? This is big. You can take the lead. You can get your lead back here if you predict this one correctly. I'll <laughs> Okay. I guess you got it right. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> a dark outer space area where gravity sucks up everything nearby is called a what? A black hole. Why were you giggling there? I was thinking about me, but that's okay. I'm just going to move on to the next question. Please. That's the right answer. Way to go, Devin. It was a black hole. You're up to 1100 bucks. Way to go. All right, one more question for each in this round. A lot of money on the board here. I asked Sean. Imitate the robot on Lost in Space anytime the Robinson family was in trouble. Do you think Sean can do that, Eric? What do you think? You can retake the lead. I'm going to say you got it right. All right, He's on a roll this round. Okay. <laughs> Imitate the robot on Lost in Space anytime the Robinson family was in trouble. E! Save me! E! Save me! That's a wrong answer, Eric. I'm sorry. Of course, it was the danger, 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 Will Robinson. All right, very good. All right, let's move on. Devin, last question of the round for you. You have a $100 lead. You can increase it for the wager of death. I asked Sharon, what was the name of the computer in the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey? What do you think, Devin? I'll say she got it right. Okay, let's find out. What was the name of the computer in the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey? Elizabeth. <laughs> no, that's a wrong answer. Audience, do you know Earthlings? Hal, very good, Hal. All right, let's pick out the scores. Eric, you got a thousand bucks, not bad. But Devin's got eleven hundred dollars. She's got the lead. Now, when we return, Devin and Eric will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Sharon, Mimi, and Sean. I asked them, Jurassic Park Three is the third movie in the series. What was the title of the second one? Captain, I'm giving her all she's got. I don't know if I can hold on until. <laughs> the wager of dawn. I can't do it. Captain. Uh, <laughs> hey, welcome back to Street Smart Salute Sci-Fi. Devin and Eric, here's the word from Starbase. Now, during the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would be right or wrong, and then you wagered an amount of money not to exceed your total. Now, recap the scores. We've got a close game. Eric's got 1,000 Earth dollars. Devin, $1,100. Now, I live this excited since Princess Leia showed her cinnamon buns. And here's a question I asked Sharon, Mimi, and Sean. Uh, <laughs> Jurassic Park 3 is the third movie in the series. What was the title of the second one? So let's get your choices. Devin, you got a lead right now with 1100 bucks. So whose clip do you want to see and try to hold on for the victory? Sharon. Going with Sharon. Eric, how about you? Uh, Mimi. You're going with Mimi. All right, well, nobody picked, uh, nobody picked Sean. We're going to say bye to him. Kind of shocked that Eric didn't pick him, actually. All right, so uh, Devin, you're going with Sharon. Let's take, check out her clip, see what she says. Jurassic Park 3 is the third movie in the series. What was the title of the second one? Invasion of the Creatures. <laughs> okay, that's a wrong answer. Now, Devin, you went with Sharon. We saw her get it wrong. What did you say she would do? You said she would get it? Wrong. You said wrong. All right, Devin. How much did you wager on that $1,100? What did you wager? Press that button, Sean. $99. $99. <laughs> All right, it takes you up to $1,199. Interesting wager. Eric, you went with Mimi. You're uh, still trailing by almost 200 bucks. Let's see what she says. See if you can take the lead and win the game. Jurassic Park 3 is the third movie in the series. What was the title of the second one? Jurassic Park 2. Was it, is that it? Just Jurassic Park 2? Savage Revenge. <laughs> okay, that's also a wrong answer. The correct answer, Lost World. Okay, so Eric, you went with Mimi. We saw her get it wrong. What'd you say, pal? You, wrong! You said wrong! All right, Eric, get a thousand bucks. If you wagered over $199, you won the game. Eric, what did you wager? A thousand bucks! A thousand bucks! Take you up to $2,000. Eric is coming back to win the game. Congratulations. Thanks for watching Street Smart Salute to Sci-Fi. May the force be with you. Oh, look how it's ah! Ah! Jurassic Park 3 is the third movie in the series. What was the title of the second one? The Lost World. <laughs>